Hello students. In this video, we will learn about passive sentences. The use of still, anymore, already, and yet. Past participles as modifiers. Adjective zinning. An, adjective plus preposition combinations. Notice the active and passive sentences. Present active. For example, they write letters every day. Object passive. For example, letters are written every day. Past active. For example, they wrote letters yesterday. Object passive. For example, letters were written yesterday. Active and passive sentence. A. Simple present. Active. They write letters every day. Passive. Letters are written every day. B. Simple past. Active. They wrote letters yesterday. Passive. Letters were written yesterday. C. Infinitive. Active. They are going to write letters tomorrow. Passive. Letters are going to be written tomorrow. Active. They will write letters tomorrow. Passive. Letters will be written tomorrow. Active. They should write letters. Passive. Letters should be written. Active. They have to write letters. Passive. Letters have to be written. D. Progressive. Active. They are writing letters. Passive. Letters are being written. Active. They were writing letters. Passive. Letters were being written. E. Perfect. Active. They have written letters. Active. They had written letters. Passive. Letters have been written. Passive. Letters had been written. Exercise 1. Change the following active sentences into their corresponding passive sentences. For examples. They write letters every day. Letters are written every day. Someone locks the door every night. The door is locked every night. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Exercise 2. Listen to the statements describing two situations, past and present. Summarize in one statement with still, or any more. For examples. Mary often played the piano last year. She doesn't play the piano now. Mary doesn't play the piano anymore. 
John didn't play the piano before. He doesn't play the piano now. John still doesn't play the piano. Paul played the piano two years ago. He plays the piano now. Paul still plays the piano. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Exercise 3. Repeat the following statements, and include already, or yet. For examples. It's only 8 o'clock, and Dr. Brown is here. It's only 8 o'clock, and Dr. Brown is here already. The class should begin now, but Mr. Green isn't here. The class should begin now, but Mr. Green isn't here yet. It's only 10.55, but the 11 o'clock class has begun. It's only 10.55, but the 11 o'clock class has begun already. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Exercise 4. Produce sentences which contain past participles and in words used as adjectives. For examples, The story interested John. The story was interesting. John was interested. Mr. Smith closed the door. The door is closed. The movie bored John. The movie was boring. John was bored. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Exercise 5. Practice the use of adjective plus preposition combinations. For examples. Mrs. Miller is going to London. She is excited. Mrs. Miller is excited about going to London. Mary said, I don't like to read. It makes me tired. Mary is tired of reading. John said, I travel all the time. It's my usual habit. John is accustomed to traveling. Now, please do the following exercise. You can pause your video until you finish the exercise. Be used to means the same as be accustomed to. For example, 
John is used to reading a lot. John is accustomed to reading a lot. There is another construction. Used to which is very different from be used to. For example, John used to read a lot. Used to can be inserted before a verb in order to express customary events or states in the past. It implies that the event or state stopped and does not continue in the present. Examples Mary studied late at night last year, but she doesn't anymore. Mary used to study late at night. Two years ago, Alice got up at six o'clock every day, but she doesn't anymore. Alice used to get up at six o'clock. When he was a child, John usually spent his summers in the mountains, but now he doesn't. John used to spend his summers in the mountains. Well done, students. You have finished chapter or lesson 19. I hope you enjoy it and keep practicing. See you again. Bye.